Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of graphing on a coordinate plane. This is standard 5.8c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 3 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Jim is plotting these ordered pairs on a coordinate grid. And then he connected the dots with line segments to form a polygon. And we need to find one of these is going to be inside. So first, let's plot these four points. And let's remember that when we plot these points, we're always starting with the x coordinate first and the y coordinate second. So we move to the right first, and then we move up after that. So x it's going to be 1, so it means I'm going to go to right there. And then I'm going to move up 3, 1, 2, 3. So here's my first dot, and I'm just going to kind of make it a big dot because I'm going to make the other dots small dots. So then my next one is going to be 3, 6. So I'm going to move over 1, 2, 3 to 3, and then 6 is way up there. So connect those two, and I'm going to get this right there. Then I'm going to get 7 comma 6, so that's going to be on that same line, so here's my 7, here's my 6, so I've got three dots so far, looking like it could be a triangle, if I was done, but I'm not, I've got one more, I'm thinking it might be a trapezoid, so here's my 9, comma 3, so I need to move all the way over to 9, up to 3, which is that same level as the very first one, and so there we go. Let's go ahead and connect these dots. It is a trapezoid, which is a quadrilateral. It's a special kind of quadrilateral that only has one set of parallel lines. The top and the bottom are parallel, but the two sides are not. They would intersect. So now what we need to do is we need to find which of these four chunks over here, these connections between the X and the Y, which of these would go inside? Only one of them is going to go inside, the rest are going to fall out. So let's start with 4, 5. That is our selection from A. So here is 1, 2, 3, 4. And then I'm going to go up to 5. So it looks like right off the bat, I've got the one that's inside. Let me put A right there. A little smaller dot right there. So if that's inside, everything else must fall outside. So let's double check on that. So we've got 8, 6. So remember, we're going to start with our x coordinate. We're going to move all the way over to 8. So here's my 8. And then my 6 is my y coordinate. That is, that is very, very close. If I trace these two up here, look what I'm going to get. I'm going to get right there. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. You notice that even if I move that a little bit over to the left, it wouldn't necessarily be inside. It would be on the line. I'd have to move that down to, if I change my Y coordinate to 4, that would actually work. I could get that inside if I can change it to 8, 4. But I'm not. So B is incorrect. Let's check 5, 7. So here is my 5. That's my X coordinate right there. And then my 7, uh, that's too high. So that is going to get you too high right up there. But it would be smack dab in the middle if we could bring it down a little bit. So even if we could bring the X coordinate down to 5, maybe even 4, that would work. But it is definitely just uh, too high, so we're going to cross that one out. And let's check D, 3, 1. So here's my 3. Wow, that is way too low. So my 3, 1 is right down there. I need to raise that Y coordinate. If I move it either to 4 or 5, that would work. So let me see if I move this up to 4. I'd be good. But as it stands, B, C, and D are all outside. The only one that's inside is this 4, 5, and that was the first coordinate A. So that is my answer A.